Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, get the 3.0 beta onto your device. Now um, this works for all of the touch devices that have been released, so that includes iPod Touch first and second generation, and the iPhone um, first generation and 3G. Now um, there are some warnings for the um, iPhone iPhones. Um, one is that the new 3.0 beta it updates your baseband so what that means is that you can't go um, back to the lower firmware or downgrade if you want to call it um, because of that baseband update um, so uh, if you do upgrade to the 3.0 beta then you're gonna have to stick with it for um, a couple of months until the official one comes up to the public which will uh, be in June sometime so uh, iPod Touch users, you can downgrade because I have tested it. Um, not sure on the second generation, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same as the first. So um, you can downgrade if you're on a uh, iPod Touch. Also, with the iPhone 3G, if you have been using Yellow Snow, which is the soft unlock, then um, you are going to uh, not use this 3.0 beta because. As I said, update your baseband and um, you won't be able to use it ever, probably. So, um, you can, if you are wanting to update to the 3.0 beta, but still want to use Yellow Snow, then you're going to have to wait until the dev team releases um, a Pornish Tool update so you can update to 3.0, but still keep the same baseband um, that enables Yellow Snow to work. So, um, that's about it for all the warnings. Um, if you want to download these firmwares, then um, you're going to have to search around the internet um, for a bit because I can't post them for obvious reasons. But um, bearing in mind that my website um, does everything, um, I will put a link to that in the description on the right. And um, yeah, so go and check that out. Um, I'm not going to switch over to my screen so um, you can uh, see how to update your device to the new 3.0 firmware beta. Okay, so once you have downloaded the um, 3.0 beta firmware to your desktop, um, then you are going to need to plug your device in, whether it's an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Bearing in mind the warnings for the iPhones, I'm going to be using an iPod Touch first generation. So that's why I have the um, iPod 1, 1 firmware here. So um, first thing that I'm going to do is plug it in, as I said, and lo launch iTunes. Now as you can see, that mine is on um, version 2.2.1 and um, is unhacked. Um, if you are hacked, then it doesn't matter. It's going to be the same thing still because you're going to restore to the 3.0 beta. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and um, restore to the firmware that you downloaded and it's on your desktop so um, what we're going to do is click alt and then restore and go to the desktop where you place the beta firmware and click click it then we click open and um, it should start extracting the software so um, I'm going to come back to you when this is done restoring to the 3.0 beta firmware Okay, so once iTunes has done restoring with the beta 3.0 firmware, and um, first thing that is going to come up on your iPod is the Connect to iTunes logo. Um, then about 10 seconds after that, you're going to hear a beep with your iPod saying um, that it's uh, connected to a power source or a lead. Um, then iTunes is going to load it up with this screen. Um, it says we're unable to complete your activation. This device is not registered as part of the iPhone developer program. If you're a member of the program please register your device in the iPhone developer program portal. So um, at the moment you can be thinking uh oh what have I done? Um, don't worry there are ways to get around this. There's in fact two um, that I've found out. So I'm going to be showing you how to do those in a second. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, unplug, unplug your iPod so it disappears from iTunes and then plug it back in again. And um, I'm just going to wait for it to appear in the 
devices list. There we go. So the first one is going to click the ah, I wasn't in time. But um, did you see that bit at the top there that says Acc accessing iTunes store? You're going to click the cross. So I'm going to try it one more time, but I'm going to be quicker this time. Unplug, plug it in. And get ready to click the X. And there we go. So we're going to say set up as a new iPod. Continue. And click done. And there we go. It has come up with the summary list. Now that is all you have to do in order to sync your iPod. Um, so um, that's one way. Now I'm going to show you how to do the second way. Um, this is something to do with your Wi-Fi connection. This may work for you. This is probably the best way. So we're going to turn Wi-Fi off. Or if you're connected via Ethernet or Dialab, whatever, how connection you are, just um, unplug it so you're not connected to the internet. Now um, I'm going to unplug my iPod again and then plug it back in. So this time we don't have to do anything. We're just going to wait for it to um, do its stuff and it should automatically load into the summary tab. There we go. So um, once that's in there, we can now turn airport back on, and um, it should be fine. So we can now sync music, movies, TV shows, etc. So um, that is basically how you bypass the message. I'm pretty sure it will work the same way as it does on iPod Search as it does with iPhones. So um, yeah, I think that's about it. So um, please subscribe, rate, and um, comment. And also, could you uh, follow me on Twitter? Thanks. Bye.